you know what this place is. It's located in the center of the North Pole. And it's the center of the Earth's magnetic field known as the Taurus field. I used to believe in this, but now I'm a flat earther. Today we're back at the big dumpster fire, TikTok. You can learn quite strange things on TikTok. For instance, did you know that Mount Everest isn't the highest mountain in the world? Let's start this dumpster fire. Prepare yourself for a real dumpster fire. You know what this place is? It's located in the center of the North Pole. And it's the center of the Earth's magnetic field known as the Taurus field. That black thing in the center of the whirlwind is the tallest mountain on Earth. In reality, there are no mountains at the North Pole. It's a sea covered by ice. This is the tallest mountain in the world. It's Mount Everest far more taller than the Mount Everest. It's so tall that even it peaks reaching out the clouds. It's the Rupes Nigra or the Black Rock, also known as Mount Meru. Some people also called it Mount Zion. You wouldn't find this massive mountain existence in mainstream science and media because it's deliberately concealed. This is the Swedish icebreaker Oden, summer 2012. And as you see, there are no mountains. I have several friends who have worked on Oden, who have been at the North Pole, and none of them have seen any mountains, only ice and sea. You can go there by yourself, buy a pair of skis, fly to Greenland and start heading north. No one will stop you. There are no military stopping people for visiting North Pole. Because if the world knew that there is such a huge mountain in the center of the Earth, it would change the course of history. Now I get it. They are protecting the true location of Santa's home. This includes the true nature of our world. It would be rewritten. And that will undo the globe-shaped Earth theory and the entire timeline of the Earth from the beginning, and they don't want that. Oh dear, so stupid. Look at how the wind stream passes through that mountain. It blocks the wind stream because of its height and size. Source, no source is provided. The Rupes Nigra or the Black Rock, described by Mercator as 33 French miles in size or roughly 40 miles in diameter. It purportedly explained why all compasses point to this location. When Mercator made that theory, no one had visited the North Pole. It took 400 years before someone visited it. So he haven't seen it, how could he know that it was a mountain there and how high it was? The biggest shareholder of all the major companies in the world is BlackRock. It is named after this mountain. This lies and bullshit was from this fool's flat earth Banyu and his TikTok channel. Listen, I have to show you something. Listen, I'm telling you, NASA is fake. I give up. I stopped making the bank videos of the flat earth. He convinced me. The t-shirt convinced me. NASA is fake. We live on a flat earth. Oh dear. Okay, pop quiz. You ever wonder why they call it an airplane? Because it flies in the air over a plane. That argument really blew me away. I'm convinced. Flat earthers are fools. Gravity just got debunked. There is no such thing as gravity. It's all density and buoyancy. If it's lighter than air, it will float. 
If it's heavier than air, it will fall. Gravity is not needed. Sorry, but that one didn't debunk gravity in any way, shape or form. Somebody tagged me in this video and it's supposed to explain why we can't see the curvature of Earth. And the premise of the video is that Earth is so gigantic in relation to us. We are so microscopic on Earth that we couldn't possibly see any curvature. Now, the only problem with this argument is that it negates another argument, which is that we can see boats disappear going over the curvature of Earth standing on a beach. You can't have it both ways. You can't say that Earth is so large you can't see the curvature and then in the same breath say that there's enough curvature over three miles to make an entire ship disappear. It must be a very small ship. If you have observer height of 3.2 feet and normal refraction, hidden at three miles would be 0.176 feet. The Earth is too big so you can't see the curvature of the horizon side to side. Is it so hard to understand? Here. It doesn't make sense. We have a person standing here that's witnessing a ship vanish right before their eyes. Now, what could make this ship vanish if there is no curvature in between the person and the ship? Convergence, maybe? You guys need to wrap your head around this concept or you'll forever think you're in outer space spinning on a rock where monkeys turned into talking people. The only reason you can see the sun, the stars, and the moon is because they are not millions of miles away from you. You've been finessed. Why? I have no idea. I don't have all the answers. I'm just pointing out the obvious. You can either take it or leave it. It's up to you. But this is your reality. Your perception of reality will not change the facts. And to see this, you need only to be a critical thinker. I'm sorry to say this, but believing in flatters fantasies and lies is not to be a critical thinker. I used to believe in this, but now I'm a flat earther. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but one day I just uh, came across some flat earth stuff and I thought it was ridiculous and I didn't understand, you know, how people could believe in it. And then uh, about a year later, I got back into it and I was really curious about it because it was just like running through my mind. And I thought, okay, I guess I'll just uh, look into it. And here we are, like two years later, uh, I'm a flat earther. So yeah, I guess you guys might want to look into it, you know? You know, it's a... Uh, Hashtag Flat Earth up there. It's got 5 billion views. Sort of a lot. Maybe go look at it. Check it out. Just like... Hashtag Flat Earth and just start looking through. It'll actually be a setting that's over there. You gotta drag that. Because that the hashtag one is all the way to the right. So... Just like... I guess just like look at it. And maybe let me know what you think. Because... I don't know what the hell, I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. Like, Earth's not a globe. Of course, if you want to know the true shape of the Earth and how the Earth works, the best way is to type in the hashtag Flat Earth on social media. Ignore science, ignore well-known facts, only trust videos and other material Hashtag flat earth. Space is not real and we actually live under God's glass firmament dome. No. And I'm about to break this all down for you. Good luck. So we know in Genesis 1, God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. The Bible is not a science book. This word firmament in Hebrew is known as an extended solid surface considered by the Hebrews as solid and supporting the waters above. Now, why did God create this? Well, I think I just got a whole new understanding on this. So we look in Job 37, 18, Hast thou with him spread out the sky, which is strong and as a molten looking glass? What is a looking glass? Well, a magnifying glass is also known as a looking glass. Now, watch what happens when you put water above a glass and you look down on it.
it magnifies it and makes it look bigger. Is it possible that God created the firmament as a looking glass? Because we know God sits directly above the firmament. Thank you. Now I got it. God has created a big fishbowl and sitting there above it and looking at us in a magnifying glass. I see. Oh dear, that was really, really stupid. TikTok really is a dumpster fire and the fools like uh, Flat Earth Banyu is there also. He's not only on YouTube, he is on TikTok too, spreading hilarious theories as this one about the North Pole. How can anybody believe him? He is a liar, he's spreading his fantasies. Oh dear. Thank you everybody helping me helping Ukraine. Today I have sent three more drones to Ukraine. It was Kamikaze drones. If you want to help, please use PayPal. That was all I had today. I'm planning a lie, but I have uh, had the call for the last week, so I, I'm not sure when I will go live again. See you soon. Have a nice day. Bye.